I uh, started the academy in November of 1992. And initially, it was really a focus on, you know, Thai boxing. You know, we did the Filipino martial arts, the Jean Fon martial arts, and shoot wrestling. Right now we start people out in, in real general areas like Thai boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and then kind of a mixed martial arts where we bring elements of wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, and Thai boxing together. But then we also start to get into just straight wrestling, both folk style, freestyle, Greco. We get into elements of Judo as they get in there. And as they go up to their more advanced training, they can now do Filipino martial arts, Filipino weaponry, uh, Jeet Kune Do. Uh, which is uh, Bruce Lee's you know, art that he developed. We also offer a combat athlete program, which is for serious-minded people only who really want to see their potential and reach their maximum potential um, using martial arts as the vehicle. The teaching philosophy that we use here is based in the Jeet Kune Do principles. The essence of that is that each person absorbs what they find useful and rejects what is not useful for them. We believe in everyone being a student and a teacher. So all of our instructors continually are improving their uh, understanding of martial arts. Martial arts are great for everyone. Martial arts improves everyone's life, especially people who aren't as strong or they're struggling to gain confidence or make themselves stronger. But then you have all the different weapons-based martial arts, um, stick and knife and all these, there's so many different weapons that were, that were used so long ago. The martial arts teaches you how to sometimes, you know, work really hard to push through things and other times it teaches you to to ease with it and go around it and, and get it and flank it. Initially I came up doing Jean Fan martial arts and, and Kali and so through that I got to be an, a full instructor in the Gurudan and Santo in both Kali and in, in uh, and uh, Jean Fan martial arts and Jeet and Jeet Kune Do. More or less we called the Jean Fan martial arts and uh, then was Thai boxing through, through Achan Chai, Master Chai and I got to be a senior instructor in, in Thai boxing. And then I'm a level four combatives instructor in the Modern Army Combatives Program. Also an instructor in the Special Operations Combatives Program. At the Academy, we have a, we have a great culture. We're not overly formal, yet we, we really practice being respectful and courteous. When I first got into Muay Thai, I, I went to a, uh, a seminar with Ajahn Chai and I watched uh, my good friend and training partner, Andy Gron, test for his instructorship in, uh, in Muay Thai. And at that point, I was, I was sold. And so I took off with that one and, and really embraced training in Muay Thai. When I initially started, it was pretty simple. It was about really driving ourselves and trying to be as competitive as we could. And it was a small group of people. Now, it's an entirely different you know, situation. We're about developing more and more people, people that probably would have never been involved in the martial arts before. Our goal is now not only just to deal with competitive martial arts, but now deal with really developing the martial arts, what they were originally developed for, was to help build confidence so people could defend themselves, feel better about themselves, get in better shape, just be in better health in general. When I first started training, um, I was very concerned, I'm like, oh, you've got all these black belts and all these upper ranking belts and am I going to come in here and am I going to get hurt or what's going to happen or what is jujitsu? I see everybody getting arm barred and I don't want my arm broken and it's completely the opposite. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing, you, you get on the mat, everybody's equal. The first couple months of me training here at the academy, it was very hard. You just want to get a good workout in and come in and sweat. This is the hardest workout or the best workout for you.
what it does for your mental your mental health and focus is uh, I have really really bad short term memory, so starting to learn some of the techniques and the forms and to keep remembering them and keep doing them in the right way and it helps your it helps your memory it helps deepen your memory and your thoughts and your focus. Seeing people that have come in here just as students and now, you know seeing them grow and, and becoming you know much bigger than they thought they'd ever be to me that's probably the biggest accomplishment is changing people's lives the coaches are number one i think in the world and we're going to keep continuing to prove it With the kids program, it's not so much about the, the martial arts as far as defending themselves and fighting, but it's about developing their discipline, their you know, listening behavior skills, and just, you know, just being a more well-behaved kid. And that's ultimately, I think, what all the parents want as well. The kids program in Jiu Jitsu as well as Thai boxing has been fantastic for, for my children. They have games in there as well as the teaching of the art it is really nice. It's not, not as serious as hardcore. It's, it allows them to develop their own social skills as well as learn martial arts at the same time while having fun. You should do martial arts because you could protect yourself and it's fun and you could have lots of new friends. You're getting more than a martial arts education, you're getting life skills education. Just for a month, try it and see how you feel. We have a 30-day free trial for anybody who's interested in coming in and trying our academy. You can try the Thai boxing, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, or the mixed martial arts. It's a great way to develop yourself and see uh, if this is something you want to do. If you want to, just give us a call at 763-560-5696. It's not as scary as you might think.